Well guys, happy Monday. Ports are closed today since it's uh, Martin Luther King Day. But, it means we get to do some stuff to the truck. This bumper guys, is about 70 pounds heavier than my other bumper. So I have to make some reinforcements for it. It just wobbles on the bottom. So I have to make some kind of reinforcements going this way from the bottom to the frame. I gotta figure out how to do that. So if you guys do end up buying a heavier bumper, just be aware, you might need extra supports. All we're using is just some angle iron. And basically I already got this piece mocked up. This is for the bottom support. You know, it's not that nice, but it'll do. And it just sits right in there and it bolts up to those two holes right there. Just like that. All you do is just do a bend on the bottom. Of course, everything's going to be welded up right now. And just like that. Nothing to it. And it should stop the bottom. If you guys could tell this shakiness. Same thing on this side. We got that piece bolted in for now on one small bolt. And just like that. We're just gonna weld this to that bracket right there and that's it. And that's all that's to it. We got one side welded up. Just gotta weld up this side. And both sides are done. And for the angle iron, you just make one cut, a V cut, bend it in, and that's it. That's way, that way you don't have to weld this side right here. I'll just say I'm not a professional welder, but they'll hold. All I'm using is a small handy mig Lincoln Electric bought from Lowe's like already years back still doing the job and that's it the bumper support brackets are finished up you definitely need those if you're gonna run these bigger 20 inch bumpers and now no wobble at all nice and nice and stiff and of course guys knowing me I never have enough LEDs well I got these Watermelons, roadworks, and just adding some more lights in the back over here. Well, guys, quickly mocked up my own uh, fuel pressure gauge. As long as you buy one of these, I bought this one on Amazon. It's, I believe it's called some CompuCheck fitting. It was only 20 bucks. And this lets you go on Cummins ISX, Caterpillars, I believe other engines as well. As long as you have this nipple fitting right here with a needle press where you could actually press down in the middle, this fitting will work and fit. And it goes on just like that. So what we're doing is actually we're testing my fuel pressure because I'm trying to replace my transfer pump. So what I did, we tested my fuel pressure, only getting about 75 up to 80 PSI which is not enough count likes to be at least 100 at 1500 rpm so i bought the upgraded transfer pump and if you have a cat and you have this allen key bolt right here you could buy this upgraded spring right here and this is the part number 3394983 and what it is is a longer spring that goes in this spot right here and that bumps up your fuel pressure Ooh. Okay, the spring gonna pop out it's under pressure and when you guys remove a spring watch out for the needle there is a needle inside yeah take out the spring mm -hmm. and the needle inside it stays inside so as long as you keep it upright okay. it should be good now put the old spring and new spring next to each other see how much longer the new spring the upgraded spring is mm -hmm. that right there is what gives you the extra fuel pressure on a cat and these are different too. It actually gives you an extra 30 horsepower, 30 to 40 horsepower, and 80 pounds of torque. So you get a little bit of extra power boost as well. And the hardest part is now compressing this new spring in there. Okay. Which one do we use? This one or this one? And that's it. Okay. Now on the pump itself, this one is a 25 mil and we got an 18 mil for this one this one's a little bit harder to get to and they are very tight so that's it all it is these two and it's gear driven there's no timing or nothing that you have to set 
so you guys don't have to worry about that. Okay, got the new transfer pump on. Now we're pushing almost 90 psi idle. Okay, 1500 RPM. Looks like we got 110, not 1500 RPM, which is perfect just what a cat should be running at. So yeah guys, if you're going to do the transfer pump upgrade and the spring upgrade, check your fuel pressure first. See if you're getting at least 90 PSI in idle and at least 100 PSI at 1500 RPM before doing the upgrade. So I checked mine beforehand and I was getting a little bit low fuel pressure, so that's why I did the upgrade. And on this side, I actually ended up switching over to one and a half leaf. So I have one original leaf, and in the front, it's sitting on two leaves. Just like the Air Glide 130, the factory Peterbilt 389s that come with the front air ride, they all have one and a half. They have two and then one. Basically, it just stops right after the airbag right here. But the Air Glide 130 is also longer, about five inches longer. So when I do end up switching over to those leaf springs, I'm gonna have to move this bracket over back here. And it sits about 62 inches, 61 inches long. While these ones are only about 55 inches long. What do you guys think about the rear lights? I think it adds a little bit more of a custom look in the back with these spaced out a little bit farther, the edges. Well guys, that's it for this video. You know, trucking never stops even on the holidays. From morning to dark. But well, we got a lot done. Fuel transfer pump switched over to one and a half leaf, guys. I had two original leaves. We ended up doing a half a leaf on top and one skinny leaf on the bottom. And then let me tell you guys, I wish I did it from the beginning. One and a half leaf is a lot smoother. I mean, I was just rolling right now. Every bump that I got memorized, it just couldn't even feel it. So if you guys do, one and a half leaf, two leaves is too much with the air ride. It just, you got two leaves plus the air ride. It, the front end is too stiff. With the one and a half leaf, it's safer because you still have one full leaf holding it and the half a leaf. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know, I never thought I'd be making videos like this and with so many people watching. You know, thanks for all the support.